Yo, welcome to the D for game one of the wild card series here at Comerica as my Tigers take on the White Sox. But after my man DeGrom be done with them, those Sox gonna be straight up brown with these Tritown boys crapping themselves. Hi guys, I'm Ozzy Villain, and welcome back to the Detroit Tigers, and welcome to the postseason. Big apologies for no episode yesterday, it was just too hot here in the UK to record. And, uh, well, we get the uh, playoffs underway a day later, but hopefully uh, it was worth the wait, because we take on the White Sox. Now, let's have a quick look at how we've done against them so far this season. You can see we have a 12-7 and winning record against them. Interestingly enough, we are second in the AL for runs scored. They are 10th, but they are second for runs against, and we are 11th. So we sort of match up almost exactly you know, it's like uh, opposite wise. So it should be an interesting, an interesting series. Hopefully, I mean, we're at home. We get that advantage. So hopefully we'll be able to take massive advantage of that. Now, before we get that underway, let's catch you up on how the uh, regular season finished. And we, of course, had the closing series against Cleveland. Uh, now, of course, we left off with that 9-6 win. Uh, we won the next three, lost two, so we won uh, We won four of six in the series. The only thing really of note is if we go to the second game here, uh, you'll notice it was 5 nothing. But if uh, we scroll down, you can see how everybody's bats went there. But if we go down just that little bit further, you can see Jacob deGrom threw a shutout, a four-hit shutout, uh, two walks in there as well. So... Let's keep our fingers crossed. He gets the start today, being our number one starter, and let's hope he can carry that form into the postseason. It was his final start before the postseason. Usually, when he uh, sort of a pitcher would get injured for me, but um, he stayed fit. So let's hope he uh, continues to uh, have that form. Let's have a quick look here now at the uh, playoff roster. No real surprises, I don't think. These are regular season numbers for the playoff roster. Uh, yeah, but no real surprises. Uh, we don't obviously need to have uh, a five-man rotation. So Casey Miser has moved back into the bullpen, even though it says he's still a starting pitcher there. Um, yeah, otherwise, that's it's not. It's, there's no real, so there's no real surprises there. That is uh, that is the uh, the pitchers, the hitters. Maybe one surprise in here. We have called back in Harold Castro. Now that is because uh, it's a Gage or whatever his name is. What? Sup or workman or whatever his name is uh he has an injury that is yet to be uh it's a, it's it's a red injury but it's still a uh, diagnosis pending so what i didn't want to do is leave him in the team as a backup player anyway and then not have him available harold castro can do a similar job and hopefully do a little bit better than those regular season numbers because he's been at 300 or near enough to hit a for us the first two seasons so this year has just been a bad year let's hope that he's saving everything ready for the postseason so that is uh that is the postseason lineups let's go and or postseason roster let's go check the postseason lineup all right, and here we go in these matchups. They look worryingly good for us, don't they? So Xavier Edwards will lead us off at second base. Garcia bats second at third. Green bats uh, third at left field. Uh, Meadows will be designated hitting at the cleaning up. It'll be Torkelson batting five at first base. Cabrera bats six in right field. Edmund, the shortstop, bats seven. He has been, you can see, he's in a hot streak. He is, he's been decent. Let's hope that form carries in as well. Uh, Parker Meadows will continue in center field, batting eight. Trevino, the catcher, will bat nine. It's the Grom on the mound for us. Rapid against Lucas Galatino for them. He had a regular season record of 13 and 7, 3.41 ERA, a whip of 119, 10.5 strikeouts per nine innings. Um, very, very similar numbers to those of DeGrom. DeGrom is statistically the better pitcher. He had a 5-0 record against the White Sox. So if that can continue, obviously we'll be very happy. So let's hope it does. All right, so some postseason baseball. Now, one thing that had completely slipped my mind in all the excitement of trying to make the postseason was we need to vote on an MVP. Uh, so let me know. So probably be your only chance to nominate uh, who you think has been our best player or players this season. That hasn't left, has it? No, it hasn't. Uh, yeah, and uh, we'll vote on those uh, next episode just in case it's going to be a sweep for one of the teams. So, yeah, that's uh, something I completely forgot. So apologies for that. But, yeah, nominations for MVP. Guriel will come in now. He batted 283 in the regular season. He's going to face the Grom. A 1-0 pitch into left field. That is going to drop in. And, well, the postseason hasn't really started how we wanted it to. Now, am I dreaming up that de Grom had a really bad game in the postseason last season? Collis comes in with uh, no one out runner at first. He batted 205 this season. He's hit the ball as well into the outfield, and that's going to drop in. And DeGrom, what is going on here, mate? 
Runners at the corners with no one out. Eloy Jimenez to the plate. Uh, he hit 45 home runs this regular season. That could be a double plate. Oh, it is. Another run comes across, but to be honest, it's almost worth it to get the two outs. Moncada now comes in, batting 183 in the regular season. It's a 2-2 a pitch, sorry. He's got under that. Camped underneath it out there is Riley Green. That ends, I wouldn't say disastrous first innings, but certainly not one that we wanted. 2-0 we find ourselves behind. Edwards will come in to lead off the batting, batting 268 this regular season. A 1-2 pitch. And can Xavier Edwards do something with it? No, he can't. And that is one away. All right, Garcia now batting at, or batted 287 in the regular season, an 0 1 pitch. And he has hit that into the outfield, but uh, again, left fielder camped underneath it, two away. And now it's Riley Green, who batted 288 in the end in the regular season, an 0 2 pitch, which for Riley tends to not end well. And there it is. Well, can conflicting or contrasting fortunes in the top of the first let's hope it goes better for us from here Vaughan who batted 278 in the regular season now to face the Grom a 1-2 pitch and the Grom strikes him out maybe he just need a little bit of time to get himself warmed up Jose Rodriguez now who batted 267 in the regular season another 0-2 pitch that is popped up Parker Meadows is under it and Parker Meadows eventually makes the catch for two away brings Blake Hunt who batted uh, two for 43 and that that cannot be right in the regular season if he gets a hit here you'll be annoyed. oh he's done better than that has he no it's going to get caught out there and that ends the inning a one two three inning much more like it from DeGrom and it brings Austin Meadows to the plate to lead us off he batted 275 in the regular season he likes the first pitch and uh, not enough, apparently, because that is uh, skied up. Second base goes back, makes the catch. That is the first out of this inning. Torkelson now batting 258 in the regular season. Very much someone who uh, hits home runs and not much else. He did actually put up good numbers. Maybe there's an argument to say he should be dropping behind Cabrera in the lineup, who batted 299. Oh, and Cabrera has absolutely crushed it. And Denny Cabrera, is there nothing this kid can't do? 398 feet, cuts the lead back to one. And maybe that is a change we need to make in the lineup. Cabrera to five, Torkelson to six. In comes Tommy Edmund now, batted 256 in the end in the regular season. But did finish the regular season on form. And he's taken a 2-2 pitch and got himself a two-out single with it. Now comes Parker Meadows. 269 he batted in this he's short regular season there goes the runner Edmund is quick Edmund gets there uncontested so Parker Meadows now with a chance to tie the game it's a 1-1 pitch come on Parker Meadows pops it up and unless center field has an almighty error that will end the second inning but we cut the lead in half it's 2-1 as we go to the third and it's going to be Simmons leading them off he batted 231 regular season it's an 0-2 pitch and the Grom finishes him off, one away. All right, Robert, who is one for one today. A one-two pitch, and the Grom sits him down. Maybe the Grom just wanted to give them a fair chance here. Guriel, who is one for one, he got the RBI in the first, and that should be out. Edmund has it over to first, and a nice quick third inning as well. All right, Trevino will lead us off. He batted 244 regular season. It's a full count. Can he get himself on base? No, uh, probably needed to swing at it, didn't he? One away. All right, Edwards, who's 0 for 1. A 1-2, one, uh, sorry, 2-1 pitch, and Edwards grounds it to the shortstop. That'll be 2 away. It brings Garcia to the plate, who really can just aim for a fence here. He is uh, 0 for 1 today, a first pitch swing, and Garcia has hit that well. He has aimed for a fence. Oh, and he's hit the very top of it. How has that not gone out? He's got himself a two-out double. It's going to be Riley Green now who's 0 for 1. A full count. Green has popped it up. And we were that close to tying the game. All right, we go to the fourth. It's Collis who's 0, uh, 1 for 1. Sorry to face DeGrom. First pitch popped up. Parker Meadows is coming in. Simple catch for him. Simple catch for anybody, really. And that is one away. Brings in Jimenez now who's 0 for 1. A full count. Oh, and a walk. 
So a base runner for the White Sox. Moncada to the plate. He is 0 for 1 today. Another full count. There goes the runner. And Jimenez isn't going to get there. It's a double play. I don't know how you score that. But for all intents and purposes, a double play. And that ends the fourth. Meadows will lead us off. He's 0 for 1. Austin Meadows, of course. Now there's two of them. Austin Meadows hits it. But it's not finding any grass in the outfield. And it is one away. Torkelson, who's 0 for 1. A 2-1 pitch. Come on, Tork. He has hit it really, really well down the right field line against an outfield shift, it looks like. We might even be talking triple here for Torkelson. No, we slide him into second. That'll do, though. A one-out double. And can Denny Cabrera, who hit the home run last time up, drive in another run? First pitch. Oh, Cabrera. No, it's gone not as good as it looked off the bat. It's traveled a mile. And Torkelson is able to get himself to third. So the tying run is 90 feet away for Tommy Edmond, who is one for one. A 2-1 pitch. Come on, Tommy. Tommy Edmond, death down, you son of a bitch. It does get down, and Tommy Edmond ties the game. It's a two-out RBI single for Tommy Edmond. We're tied at two, and Parker Meadows comes in now. 0 for 1 today. It's a 1-2 pitch. And Parker Meadows, is that going to get down as well? No. Oh, it is. Well, that looked a simple catch, but Parker Meadows continues a two-out rally here. Now it's Trevino's turn, who is 0-for-1 today. A 1-1 pitch. Trevino grounds at the second, and unless he gets rockets in those shoes of his, that's going to end the fourth. But we're tied at two. We go into the fifth. Vaughn to lead them off, who's 0-for-1. He's going to face the Grom, and it's a 1-0 pitch. And it is popped up. Parker Meadows is there, and eventually it comes down to be caught. One away. All right, Jose Rodriguez, who's 0 for 1. A 2-2 two -two pitch. And that sounded good off the bat. But again, it's holding up. There must be an absolute gale blowing in from the outfield. And that is out for Cabrera there in right field. For Hunt, who is 0 for 1. A full count. And a walk for Blake Hunt. It's not really what you want to do with a man that's had two hits all season. Simmons comes in now, who's 0 for 1. A 3-1. Oh, and that's got down the left field line, and that is in danger of scoring the runner from first. We get it in quickly. Is it quick enough? Yes. But suddenly we have runners at second and third with two out from their eight and nine hitters, and Robert is to the plate, who's one for two. Come on, DeGrom. Sitting down. Oh, it's, not, it's a 1-0 pitch. Oh, thankfully, it's sliced up in the air. Caught by the second baseman, Edwards, and they strand two. Edwards will now lead us off. He is 0 for 2 today. It's an 0-2 pitch. Edwards not having the greatest start to his postseason. One away. Garcia will come in now, who is 1 for 2. First pitch swinging. Of course, almost hit a home run last time up. This time he lines it straight to shortstop. That is 2 away. Now for Riley Green, who is 0 for 2. A first pitch swing. Green grounds it towards first base. Can he beat that? He can! An infield hit for Riley Green, and it brings Austin Meadows to the plate. 0 for 2. A 1-1 pitch. Meadows hits it into right field. It is foul, is it? Surely it's foul. Was that not a foul ball? We'll take it. We'll take it. Torkelson now runs at the corners with two out. Come on, Tork. Oh, it's an 0-2 pitch. Oh, Tork, he's hit it, but straight to shortstop, and that'll end the inning. Probably justified, given that Meadows' hit was surely a foul ball, unless I'm blind, which is always a chance. Uh, Guriel now, who's one for two, will face the Grom to start off the sixth. And that is another one that has gone flying up into the air. Green is there, one away. Oh, Collis now, who is uh, one for two, a full count. And the Grom sits him down with a nice one. Two away for Jimenez, who is 0 for 1 with a walk. It's a 2-0 pitch. And Jimenez hits it to center field. Meadows, is he there? No, he's not. It's over his head. And it is a two-out double for Eloy Jimenez. So the go-ahead run is in scoring position here in the top of the sixth. It's Moncada at the plate, who's 0 for 2. It's a 2-2 pitch. Come on, DeGrom. He finishes it off for us, and we'll go and have a hit in the sixth. Tied at two. Denny Cabrera to lead us off. He is one for two today. It's a one-two pitch. Come on, Denny boy. Oh, he's got it into center field. Is it going to drop in? It is. And Cabrera has a second hit of the game. A leadoff single. All right, Tommy Edmond. He is two for two. A first pitch swing. Tommy Edmond has hit it well, but straight to right field. 
and that'll be one away. Parker Meadows now, who is one for two. A 2-1 two pitch. Parker Meadows drills it past the shortstop. As the runner, Cabrera goes to third, gets to third. And with one away, we have runners at the corners. And Parker Meadows continuing his excellent form from the uh, end of the regular season. It brings Trevino up, who's 0 for 2. Anything but a double play, mate. It's a first pitch swing. Uh, oh, he's hit to a double play. You absolute moron. Strike out next time. Oh, we had the go-ahead run at third. That is annoying. All right, it brings Vaughn to the plate. 0 for 2 in the seventh to face the Grom. And that should be out. Garcia has it over to first one away. All right, Jose Rodriguez now, who is 0 for 2. Another 1-2 pitch. And that is another one that has been launched like a rocket into the air. And then it just uh, casually comes back down to work into the glove of green. Blake Hunt now, who is 0 for 1 with a walk today. An 0-2 pitch. Can we finish the seventh? We can. And we stretch. We've out hit them 10 to 5, but the score is tied at 2. So it's Edwards to lead us off. 0 for 3 he is. Here we are in the bottom of the seventh. First pitch. Edwards, can he get it past the shortstop? More or less. Oh, what a play. One away. Garcia, who's 1 for 3. It's an 0-1 pitch. Come on, Louis. He has taken that up in the right field, but that'll be easily caught. And that'll be two away. And it'll bring Green to the plate, who is one for three. A 1-2 pitch. Two strikes doesn't usually end well for Green. And on this occasion, at least he made contact. Oh, it's a diving catch in the end. Unlucky. But that ends the seventh. We go to the eighth. Still tied at two in game one of this wild card series. DeGrom, 102 pitches in, will face Simmons, who's one for two. It's a first pitch swing. It's a ground ball. It'll be out at first. It'll be one away. Robert now to face DeGrom, who must be absolutely ruining that first innings of his. He's been almost flawless since. And that's two away now in the eighth. And it brings Guriel to the plate, who is one for three. It's a first pitch swing again. And that is back to DeGrom, two first, end of the top of the eighth. Yeah, DeGrom's been essentially flawless through seven innings. It's just a shame that we're in the eighth inning of the game. All right, Caleb uh, Freeman comes on for them. Austin Meadows, he had an ERA of 2.17 during the regular season. Meadows, who's one for three, will face him. It's a full count. Can Meadows get himself on base to start the eighth? That would be huge if he could do it. No, he can't. And it brings Torkelson up, who's one for three. It's a 1-0 pitch. Come on, Tork. Load in the one, mate. Oh, he has. Has he done enough? It's deep. It's deep. I don't think it's deep enough. And it is two away. And it brings Cabrera to the plate, who is two for three. It's a 1-2 pitch. Cabrera pops it up. And we go to the ninth. Tied still at two. Does DeGrom come back out? He doesn't. It's Will Klein at the close-up. ERA for him this regular season of 1.03 from 26.1 innings work. It's Collis to the plate, who's 1 for 3. Oh, it's a 3-1. Don't walk the leadoff man. Don't do it. Oh, he has. Jimenez now comes in. 1 for 2 with a walk. It's a 2-0. Oh, Will Klein's got the playoff mo uh, nerves. And... Two on, no one out in the top of the ninth. Moncada to the plate. He's 0 for 3. We need to keep the 0. It's a 2-1 pitch. Double play. No. Catch it. He hasn't caught it. Is that going to be the go-ahead run? No, but we've loaded the bases. Oh, he's been so good all regular season. What happens to us in the postseason? It's Vaughn now who's 0 for 3. We need a strikeout. Oh, and we get it. That's huge. All right. Double play ball. Double play ball to Rodriguez who's 0 for 3. It's an 0-2. We'll take a strikeout. Come on, Quiney. Oh, he was just testing himself. Two away. And Blake Hunt now, who's 0 for 2. It's a 2-2 pitch. Klein, that should do it. Get the out somewhere. There it is. Well done. Loaded bases. No one out. The White Sox manager will be ripping his hair out. Let's make them pay for that now. Tommy Edmund, who is 2 for 3. We've got the bottom of the order up for this one. Not ideal. A 1-2 pitch. Edmund strikes out. One away. Parker Meadows now, who is two for three. Another one-two pitch. Parker Meadows, as he'd know, it's going to be caught in center field. And that will be two away. Are we going to pinch hit Trevino? We are. It's Penengo coming in. He batted 250 this regular season. It's a two-two pitch. Penengo strikes out. 
and it is extra inning in game one of this wild card series. It'll be Dingler coming in behind the plate. Maguire is going to pinch it for them now. He batted 218. He's going to face Klein, who did a lot of work in his one inning so far, but that's more like it. First pitch out at first. Klein now, 27 pitches in, will face Robert, who is one for four. It's a full count, one out, no one on. Oh, and it's another strikeout for Klein. He struck out four, no, three in uh, almost two inning. Guriel, who is one for four. It's a 1-0 pitch. Come on, Klein, finish it off, mate. It's launched into the air again. And as Parker Meadows strolls across casually, he makes the catch that ends the top of the 10th. And we will have Xavier Edwards leading off against Garrett Croquet, who is uh, ERA of 274 this season. 0 for 4 today is Edwards. It's a lefty as well, which doesn't suit our lineup that much, except for Torkel. So, oh, he's hit him. All right. He's injured on the play. He can shake it off, and he's quick. Can Edwards get himself the second? It's Garcia who's won for four today at the plate. A 1 2 pitch. Garcia! Oh, is it going to be caught? It is. Oh, it didn't need to be far either side for that to uh, be on the grass. All right, it is Green now who is one for four. A 1-1. One, one. Green, oh, they've tried to pick him off, but he's got back. So it's a 2-2 two, two pitch now. Come on, Riley. Oh, Riley Green, that is going to end game one. And it's huge. Riley Green with a walk-off two-run home run. 402 feet. We have won game one of the series 4-2. And we'll be looking to clinch it tomorrow. So Riley Green is the game one hero. The Guardians beat uh, Houston in their first game. Uh, it does not like the National League has kicked things off yet. But there we go. We have a hero. And it is, well, is it Klein? Is it the Grom? Is it Riley Green? They're all pretty good in the end, weren't they? Uh, so we'll be back, as I say, tomorrow for game two. It'll be Marley versus Corbin Burnes or Burns. Not quite sure how you would pronounce that one. Now, Marley, we know he's been... He started off like a house on fire and then unfortunately got extinguished the longer the season went. But let's hope postseason he steps up and... Uh, yeah, well, we'll just kind of see what happens. But that is it for today. If you have enjoyed that, make sure you hit thumbs up. Don't forget to go and subscribe if you're new. Uh, and of course, MVP nominations. We need those coming in as well. And if you want to go back and see where it all began for me, the park baseball, it was with the Mets. And uh, it's possibly worth a watch because I had absolutely no idea to start with. Take care.